Yes, I know. I get a ton of comments from you guys making fun of me for being so poor in my hardcore series. And instead of mining, I should just simply make an iron golem farm. Well, you guys win because this episode, I'll be building the most OP iron golem farm ever. Hi guys, please subscribe to my boyfriend's videos if you haven't already. And welcome to episode 18. I promise you, I didn't force her to say that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. You know what's surprising? I actually have enough food to start off this episode. So I'm actually gonna put this away. Oh no, I only have seven potatoes. I gotta get some more. Oh yeah, I'm ready to start. Oh, I'm not even funny. But anyways, on the last episode, I built this pretty amazing villager trading hall. And I read all of your comments and you guys were telling me to put some trap doors on top of these. So if I do want to reset the villager trades, these guys can't escape. And that's actually a very genius idea. So let me do that. Move monkey. Get out of the way. Can somebody tell me why these villagers are taking the jobs of these villagers inside? It's kind of annoying. Some of these villagers are just plain old villagers because they keep stealing the jobs. It shouldn't even be allowed. And you guys were also telling me to put some fence gates at the actual gate right here so no zombies can get in. And there you guys go. Are you guys happy now? I have fence gates. T tell me you're happy in the comments. You guys better. How did this guy escape? Well, you're going to die from a zombie one day. Good luck. But to start off this episode, I think I'm going to get myself a mending book finally because these tools won't fix itself. I'm getting pretty lazy. And I've been making some massive projects. But in order for me to get some mending books, I'm going to need some emeralds obviously and to trade for emeralds i think the best way is to use sticks and i don't really want to cut down more of the forest because we've already done some pretty crazy damage yeah that damage is pretty irreversible uh, oh, oh i'm gonna drown oh i'm a soggy cookie now <laughs> <laughs> but let's finally go exploring to find myself a jungle biome around here so I can get myself some bamboo and some infinite sticks. Say goodbye to the world, guys. I might not see you again. I might die to a panda or something. <laughs> Gonna be dangerous. It could sit on you or something. Like my girlfriend sat on me once and now both my legs don't work. But let's go. Ow, ow. Oh, now my legs double don't work. I just cracked them both. Oh, these poor trees. I'm sorry for what I've done. They are so naked now without their leaves. Ah, uh, just kidding. It was so worth it for the wall of leaves. Come on, guys. Wall of leaves. Wall of leaves. I start a chant. Wall of leaves. Ow, jeez. What did I do here? I just completely excavated this entire land. There's floating trees. Oh my god. I'm such a bad person. What? Uh, I shaved off this entire tree too. What the heck? That's so funny. I just picked random trees in this forest to shave off for leaves. Hey, look at this guy. I still left some markings and some scars to this tree. This is why I don't explore the world, guys. I just got reminded from all of the bad things that I've done. Ooh, this is a really nice place. I haven't been here in the world yet. It's like a huge lake. I should build a lake house right here or something. Oh, that would actually be such a great idea. My friend has a lake house and we always go to it. I should replicate that exact lake house over here like the same interior and exterior so you guys know exactly what it looks like that's actually a really good idea cookie thank you sir i'm literally so weird yeah but let me know in the comments if i should do that oh and then i could give you guys a real life tour of the real house versus the minecraft house i'm just rambling on Ooh, mount everest Bruh. You're telling me there's a desert biome right over here? I literally travel like 2,000 blocks on a boat to get to my desert. And there's one right here. Honestly, I should have done this exploring like on episode 3. We're on episode 18. <laughs> And I'm just finding out there's a huge desert like 500 blocks away from my house. Hey, hello, my good friends. Totally not here to destroy your home and steal stuff from you guys. Barge into your home and... All right, you're poor. You're, yeah, you're poor. I won't take from you. <laughs> Let's just play a quick game of hide and seek. I'm going to hide his armor behind this haystack and one behind this post. <laughs> what? What? another mesa biome over here oh my i found like four mesa bombs already you're kidding me this world is a blessing i thought they're supposed to be pretty rare and why is that cactus over there so tall what is going on my my luck right now is crazy she has a really tall cactus it reminds me of my beautiful personality what do you guys think i was gonna say geez this is a big mesa biome what is happening over here but what is this generation this kind of looks like my 100 days grand canyon video why does this look so custom whoa what is going on what what hello there's rail tracks going through here. Is this connected to a mine shaft? This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I didn't even know Minecraft does this. I thought mine shafts only spawn deep underground. This is right on the side of these mountains. This is this is so weird. Yeah, I've never seen anything like this. Let me know in the comments if you guys have. Okay, I, I get way too distracted. Let, let's find a jungle biome. I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm so I get so distracted all the time. Ooh, bunny. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Ooh, there's a ruined nether portal here. What are the chances of me finding a notch apple right now? If I get a notch apple, everybody needs to subscribe. So let's see. No, 
What the way? We got a notch apple. What are the chances of getting a notch apple? I don't think it's that rare, right? <laughs> That's so weird. My luxury day is insane. Why does that mountain look so fat? Bruh, what did I just run into? What is this? What? The There's a village there too. Yeah, this is kind of blowing my mind a little bit. Just a little bit. Look at this village. Look at that house over there. Why is this guy so spread apart? This guy was discriminated as a kid. He was bullied. This guy's living so far away from everybody. But watch this insane moment. If I die right here, it was a good time in this hardcore series. Go, 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 go. Ooh. Uh, there's so many mobs. Go, 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 go. Let me steal a bed. This guy doesn't have a bed. He's poor. Hey, go away. Protect me, Iron Golem. I need help. Ooh, Wadzi melons. Get out. Yeet. Oh, no. That is not good. Yep, this uh, villager house is kind of burning down from this lava. And it's kind of my fault because I just bring bad luck everywhere. A moment of silence for this villager house that I met three seconds ago. In the arms. This is probably the most efficient farm I have ever seen. And it's literally defying Minecraft physics. Like, how are those still planted without water? Imagine trying to harvest this. And this might just be the weirdest but coolest Minecraft natural village spawning thing ever. I decided to take a look at this entire thing in replay mod. And I noticed farms are on these floating islands and at the very top of these mountains. I've never seen this before. Is this a rare occurrence? Let me know in the comments. But I think it's a pretty cool world generation on Minecraft. Something I've never seen before. But anyways, my mission is to find a jungle biome. And I'm getting really distracted. So let's start the exploration montage. No way. Finally. Oh my God. I feel like I just reached the Amazon forest. That was over an hour and like a half of exploring just to find this. There's a huge smile on my face, even though you can't see it or it doesn't sound that I'm happy, but I'm so happy right now. We have found new land, baby. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. I can finally sleep in paradise. Ah. Oh. Oh, I, for I forgot. For Yeet. But I only uh, let me speak, you monkey. But I only came to the jungle for this very thing. Bamboo. I got bamboo <gasps> and cocoa beans. I forgot about cocoa beans. I can finally. Ow, ow, oh, wait. Uh, yes, we need cocoa beans for one thing only. Uh, what? This guy just shot me in the. Yo, what? Yo, let me live. Let me enjoy my moment. We can finally make cookies with these. Oh, you guys know what's coming soon in a future episode. A massive cookie farm. But let's collect as many resources as I can right now. And after exploring and finding this insanely massive jungle biome, I finally got enough bamboo and cocoa beans that I was satisfied with. And I can finally head home. All right, this is everything that I got. I got some bamboo, some cocoa beans, as well as some jungle saplings, just in case I need some jungle wood. But mission accomplished. Now, all I have to do is travel 8,000 blocks back home. I'll see you guys back at the base. Guess who's back? I just spent an hour of my life exploring for that jungle biome and another hour coming back. <sighs> Just for these. All right, now that I have some bamboo finally, let's start planting them. And I don't really know where to plant them, so I'm just going to plant them right beside the villager trading hall. Just so it'll be easy access, but I'll make a bamboo farm somewhere. I think it'd be a pretty cool idea to bring a panda all the way over here and make like a little panda enclosure with a big bamboo farm or something. But for now, I'm just going to place it right here because I'm kind of lazy. And now let's wait for all of the bamboo to fully grow. Hey, man, I'm trying to record here. It's so disrespectful. But anyways, let's take my stone swords and chop these all down for some sticks. Now, that is a very satisfying noise. Let's collect all these up. If I can fit through these bamboo sticks because I'm, I'm so fat. And let's monkey the way up here and grab these as well. And now let's start trading for some emeralds. Let's take all this and get some emeralds. I got eight. That is not a lot. All right, I'll be back in like an hour after I grind all of this bamboo over and over and get myself as many emeralds as I can.
All right, I got myself a stack of 50 emeralds after an hour of work. And now let's try to get a mending book. Efficiency two, piercing four, and two guys with no jobs. Nice. Let's try to reset these guys' jobs. Well, this guy doesn't even have a job. Oh, he picks it up. Nice. Okay, nothing yet. Nothing yet. Mending, 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 mending. Thorns one. All right, I'm gonna keep doing this until I get myself a mending book. Okay, this isn't really working how I want it to. It's a little broken here. And the zombie isn't even coming for him. So let's just leave him be. <laughs> All right, yeah, the entire system is broken. I'm not... Oh, there we go. Wait. Oh, he... Oh, uh, that is not good. The villager just ran away. Okay, that, uh, rip, rip to that villager, guys. He's gone. <laughs> go, go, run, run, buddy. Run. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Run, buddy. Run, run, run. <laughs> okay, whatever. Let, let's keep trying to get this mending book. Yes. 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 Finally got myself mending. Oh, that was like 30 minutes. Let's try to get this villager into a zombie villager. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's too low. The zombies aren't going for him. Okay. The sand glitches it out. They're not going for this guy. And I really need to get this mending villager to one emerald because I definitely do not have 36 emeralds. No, I took too long. My mending villager turned into a red. Oh, my. Okay. Why aren't these zombies attacking these villagers? I, I'm so confused here. I'm going to go insane. I spent like half an hour trying to fix it. I raised the zombie level one and i think it should work now so let's give it a little test if i drop this guy he lands right beside the zombie oh there we go okay now it works wow i built it wrong the entire time good news is it's working now let's focus on getting another mending villager because i kind of lost my other guy we're getting back and it's nighttime so Oh, yes, please. I finally got a mending book. Okay, let's bring him down. Hopefully he gets infected. 24 is a pretty good deal. Pretty good, but we can hopefully get it down to one emerald. And that'll be OP. But that took me like... Our a few moments later. Bruh. Dude, I can't deal with this anymore. He, ow, ow, ow. The zombie killed the villager. I'm done. I'm, I'm literally done. This, this is getting out of hand. I can't do this anymore. All right, let's give it a test. If this guy dies, oh, how, how didn't he die? This guy actually got converted to a zombie villager. But then this guy died with the mending book. Uh, I'm done. I can't, I can't do this anymore. I'm going insane. This is taking too long. I've already spent an hour of my life doing this. I'm going to go insane. Okay, I doubled the amount of villagers that I need. I got all these different villagers in here. And now we have 10 librarians instead of five. I better get a mini book soon. Okay, I got another one, guys. I got another one. I already have my stuff ready. And we're not messing up this time, okay? Let's bring him down. Oh, no, 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 never mind. Okay, I don't have a trap door there. Okay, okay, there we go. We got the trap door in. Let's bring him down. Hopefully, if he dies, I'm gonna be so upset. I've been doing this for so long. He's coming, he's coming. Oh, he's not coming. I'm not sure what he's doing. He's focused on this guy over here. So let's just uh, kill him. Because I don't think we need him. Okay, never mind. He didn't even attack him. He just let that villager free. What? What is this guy doing? Oh, I'm so lost. Nothing's working today. Oh, there we go. Now he's attacking him. Okay. He what? He killed him. Hello. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't kill this guy. I really need him to be a zombie villager. Okay. Please don't die. Come on, please, please, please don't die. Please don't die. Yes. Okay. 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 Let's throw the potion of weakness and let's give him the golden apple. Okay. Now he's shaking like a monkey. Looks like he's like shivering from the cold. So he's gonna turn back into a normal villager soon. And hopefully now he should have the one emerald mending book trade if he doesn't i might just give up my brain hurt yes yes there we go okay please <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna cry. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Where did the mending trade go? You guys don't understand the pain I'm going through right now. What? Where did it go? I went through all that for... Oh, I wasted a whole golden apple and my weakness potion. Oh, okay. I'm done, guys. I can't do this anymore. Okay, I got another one. 18 emeralds. Okay, I'm just going with it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I can't deal with this anymore. Get it. Oh, I'm good. Oh my god. I bought hello? Oh, I don't have books. That's why I was booking. Oh, I'm I'm going insane, guys. I'm actually going insane. Okay, let me go get some books really quick. Okay, okay, okay. I'm back. I'm back. Please still be there. Okay, it is. Okay. At least I lowered the price a little bit. Let's get as many as I can. I got three. Okay. Now it's staying because I traded with him. He should keep his trade. Oh my god. I'm actually going insane. Let's get me some more bamboo. Let's get myself some more emeralds. Now the price dropped down to 15. So there we go. I got two more. So this would be good enough for all of my tools right here here and i just need three more books for all of my armor all right now it's 14 emeralds one two i just need one more give me all of those emeralds i need them all and bam i have eight mending books finally oh two hours of my life was wasted in that very room you guys don't understand the amount of joy that i have right now leaving this village you guys have no idea oh man hey let's go for a 
snack break. Let's grab me some food and let's go for a quick snack break. My first one and let's de-stress, all right? Only good vibes here on the A Cookie God channel. Grab some water, hydrate yourself, grab a snack, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back here at my dual double blaze farm. I feel great. I had a good little snack. I feel better now. And let's place down this anvil so I can combine all of my armor and tools with mending. And I'm going to need a lot of levels. So you guys know what that means. Another snack break? Of course. Back to back snack breaks. I'm just fat, okay? You guys don't need to tell me twice. I, I just want to eat. <laughs> All right, it's a moment of truth. Let's flip the lever, and this is what I always wanted to see. This entire episode, I was craving this moment. I just love seeing the blazes fall down here and just be trapped down here. <laughs> it's so satisfying to watch. There's so many blazes in here. It's so backed up. But let's put mending on my first tool, the Monkey Demolisher 420. Bam. And now I need some more XP, so let's start killing these blazes. Oh, wait, wait. I forgot I have the crusher. Let's close this, and let's crush them. Yes. I love this so much. If some of them are dying because I I did hit them once with my sword and let's just hit them once and they all should be dying and we're right back at 17 levels let's put mending on my shovel and let's go right back to it all right we are back with mending on all of my armor and all of my tools and most of it's pretty much repaired already which is really good now you guys can all stop complaining in the comments that i'm poor well you know to be honest i basically still am pretty poor i don't have netherite armor yet and i'm on episode 18 hey bro you need some help i have no idea how this guy got here but hey that's actually a really great transition because this episode i'm gonna be making an an iron farm a pretty insane one to get myself unlimited iron ingots because right now i'm pretty sure i'm uh yeah i take that back i am pretty poor i am broke somebody please donate to me gofundme dot slash a cookie me dot com hey bro how did you get here you traveled all the way from the village to my house to sleep in a bed i provided you guys with so many beds this is un this is unacceptable yeah you better wake up next time I ask bro yeah get out get out get out get out yeah go back to work but yeah today my main objective is to build an iron farm bro get out all right, fine. It's your house. Yeah, you, you own the rights to it. It's all yours. But anyways, to make myself an iron farm, I'm going to need a lot of materials. And obviously, I'm going to use stone brick. But like every episode, I run out of stone brick because of my crazy project. So I am right back down my strip mine. And this thing is really long. I have mined out so much stone here. But we're going to continue it because that's tradition. Just give me a couple minutes to run down this fat aisle because it's so long. And we are finally here. Oh, man. Oh, I left some torches here. Nice. So let's start the resource gathering. Ooh, there's some diamonds right here. I'll take it. There's a lot of mobs, though. Hello, guys. And this back keeps bothering me. All right, let's get this creeper to blow up. Wow. And he should be one hit. Perfect. And let's still touch these diamonds. They are kind of peasant material now. I'll, honestly, I shouldn't even be saying that. I'm so poor. I need anything I can get. Let's keep mining here. Yo, I just ran into an amethyst cluster. That is sick. There's literally no opening to this. It's just a random amethyst cluster chilling underground. And I ran right into it. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take all these clusters. I'll take it all. I'll eat it all. Honestly, I probably don't need any of this stuff but uh it's here so might as well take it that is not good advice don't listen to me all right but another entire section mined out and just to rant a little bit more i really hate minecraft now like all these different blocks they've added it's so annoying i've ran through more granite and peat slate and dirt and diorite more than half stone what is this block i swear i've mined double this but the other half is all of this nasty stuff and you guys might be wondering why did i throw away iron why would i need it i'm making myself the most op iron farm ever this episode i'm gonna be rich all right i got a whole bunch of stone brick and i think i should be ready to start Start building this iron farm. Actually, let's just go to sleep. I'm too lazy. Yeah. Bruh. All right. Now the problem is where do I build this iron farm? I am kind of running out of space everywhere. There's no good spot for me to place it, I think. And I'm really picky on where I build my things. But I think it's best to place it right beside the village so I can easily get the villagers inside. And I should be close enough to where iron golems are always spawning so I always have an infinite source of iron. So let's place it somewhere right here. Before I start building it, though, in this air... Oh, hello there. <laughs> nice to meet you, sir. <laughs> Okay. But as I was saying, why, why is there so many mobs alive, though? Away. I gotta clear off this grass and light it up with some torches so no mobs will spawn around and bother me. So let's clean up all of this land here because there's a bunch of ugly grass everywhere.
All right, so the iron farm is going to go right over here beside the village. It is pretty far away from my home and my chests, but uh, what can you do? All right, and I'll give you guys a quick tutorial on how to build this thing because it will give you like a thousand pieces of iron per hour. It, it's so fast. If you guys watch my one block series, you guys know how much iron I get. So let me collect all the resources and I'll show you guys exactly what you guys need. All right, here we go. This is basically everything you need. Grab my blocks and I will be building this above ground so it will be like floating into the air. So you're probably going to need a lot of more stone bricks. This is where the iron golem will fall and die. And I'm just going to make the little chamber tube. And I'm going to be using a lot of glass for this tube. Because I want to see the iron golems fall to their death. That sounds pretty cruel, but uh, it looks kind of cool. And I just ran out of glass. Nice. Luckily, we have the auto smelter 3000. And we will never run out of glass ever. All right, let's continue building it up. I won't make it too high. I think that's a good height. And if you're wondering, it really doesn't matter how high you build it. You can also build it on the ground and build it underground if you really want. I just like seeing my builds on the surface. And all I got to do now is make a platform right in the middle. There you go. Now, once it's all filled out, it should be a 9x9 nine nine stone brick or whatever blocks you use platform. And now you want to take your fence gates and just make a little 3x3 three three square right in the middle. And if you're wondering, this stone brick platform will be filled with water and it will push all of the iron golems into this centerpiece. And the iron golems will fall right through this middle section right here. The fence gates just stop the water from flowing. Now you just add a one block high wall all around this little square. Ow. just like this and if you're building this in the air like me make a little platform right here just for space for infinite water source there we go and let's put water on all four corners bam and bam and the water should be all flowing into the middle which is a three by three square now you're gonna need your composter for this so let's go right in the middle go one two three blocks high and place a composter right in the middle and this will hold your zombie which will attract the iron golems towards the middle and they'll fall into their death trap and now just break these and now we gotta make a little staircase up to the composter that will hold the zombies. So let's put a staircase up like this. Connect it to the composter. Place a block right beside the composter. Two blocks up. Grab your trap door and place it on the top block of this second block right here. Just like this. And now you can break these blocks. And it should look something like this. And now just build to the side where you want the villagers to be sleeping in. Place one, two, three, four block like this. Right beside this trap door. Build across like this. Place a bed on the top. One on the side here. And one on the other side. Just like that. And your villagers will be sleeping right here. And now you can just break break these blocks. And now take your glass and make a little box like this to surround the villagers inside this little enclosure. Just like that. Now you want to place a slab here and here on the top blocks. Place a block in between and another slab on the top like that. And if you did it right, a full block should fit right in the middle. And you should be good. And this is a very important step. When it's nighttime, go to bed. Oh, there's another villager in here. You guys are just taking turns stealing my bed, huh? This is unacceptable. All right, whatever. And now you're going to remove all of these temporary blocks right here. Here, and it should look something like that and now for the hard part getting three villagers up here now if you're building in creative mode you could easily spawn them in with the spawn egg but i gotta get some rails steal three villagers and drag them up here all right let's start a little staircase here that will be covered in some rails let's uh try to breeze the bridge oh, oh. Ah, where's my water let me just uh break into here because i'm too lazy to run around and let's try again Ooh, oh, water. and let's actually try again -na 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 -na. Ooh, okay 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 oh i'm actually killing it i'm killing it oh no ah it wasn't that bad i'm just a bedwars player i'm actually planning on posting bedwars content on my second channel by the way so go subscribe if you guys haven't already and a uh, big news i do have a brand new lunar cape out i am partnered with lunar client and have my own cape so go check it out if you guys are a bedwars player it's pretty sick sorry for the shameless plug let's line this up with some rails i'll go all the way down to the village and you don't need power rails but i'm kind of lazy so i'm gonna use some and i might need some more right here and now i just need to find somebody that will volunteer as tribute and i guess the villagers already know i want to steal them so it's kind of a, a ghost town in here where are you guys <laughs> hey i got i got a nice job for you follow me follow me buddy okay i guess not Ooh, it looks like these villagers are uh willing to participate in this experiment let's put some more rails down let's uh, make a staircase up to these guys and let's connect it up there we go and they're already standing on the rails they're ready keep going and onto the powered rails and up you go oh and he just didn't make it you're so fat bro no no not that way let's just add one more here and there he goes up the rails into his brand new home well bam 
All right, I got one guy in there, and now I just need two more. I'll see you guys when there's three villagers trapped in that glass box. Get in there, you stupid villager. Come on, I know you want to. Slow and steady, and bam, we got three. And there we go. And now you guys can remove the rails as long as the villager isn't dead. All right, the next step is to build another staircase, but connected to that trap door. So let's build all the way up here, just like. And once it's on the same level as the trap door, place another block beside it. And this is how we're going to get the zombie inside this composter. Now place two blocks up like this and another trap door right here on the top and face it down and if you built it correctly it should look something like this and now once you're here place two more blocks on top of this trap door like this and then put one slab down and go out four blocks on all sides just like this and fill it all up with slabs and it should be half slab so nothing can spawn on top of it and this will prevent the zombie from burning up from the sun once the zombie is inside the composter all right now the mission is to get a zombie so come down here and build a staircase case all the way up to the top so the zombie can make it up there and simply connect it up to this and now we wait for the nightfall and to make your life easier i will place a block right here so when the zombie is following you up you can just jump here and wait to drop the zombie and while i do that let's go for a quick snack break and I've been totally forgetting to add names on the wall of leaves. I've been way too busy every single episode. So let's add a couple names right now. All right, let's go to my most recent video. And I think I'm going to pick Jacob. Thank you for the nice comment. We got the J, the A, the C, O, and finally the B. Also, shout out to Banana Dog. I'm just going to put dog. I'm not calling you a dog. It's just a lot easier to write than banana. And there we go. We got dog. And that's going to be it for now because it is nighttime. And I do need some time to try to get a zombie inside my iron golem farm. But congratulations. Jacob and dog or should I say Jacob the dog <laughs> I'm just kidding. Calling names doesn't make you cool. All right, but let's grab my name tag. Name the zombie a fan. Another shout out. This one will be on my Twitter. Go follow me, by the way. Link in the description. And I'm going to name the zombie Madeline. And I just broke my anvil. Thanks, Madeline. You owe me anvil now. I'm just kidding. This iron farm is going to get me rich. This zombie is going to have a pretty epic name. Okay, I got two coming towards me. I only need one. So, oh, I have three coming towards me. Okay, which one's going to be the chosen one? Who's going to be the cool person to have the name Madeline? Whoever the smartest one to get up the stairs first. Okay, looks like it's this guy. All right, come up the stairs. Come on. Up the stairs. Oh, up the stairs you go. Close that trap door. He's coming up. And okay, there's, okay, there's, okay, that guy fell. Oh, and he just died by iron golem, I think. Oh, Oh, no, no. Did all three of them fall and die? Bruh. Okay, yeah, none of them were smart enough to be a Madeline. Maybe this guy will be smart enough. <laughs> Look at his legs. You are the chosen one. Just come up here. Start bobbing. Come on, come on. What, 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 what the heck is wrong with you? All right, we have another zombie coming. Maybe we'll be smarter. Let's place some blocks right here so they don't fall into the iron golem again. Maybe that will help. Okay, let's place some blocks. All right, let's try to place some blocks behind him. <laughs> Okay, um, this is not good. Okay, this isn't good. I'm having uh, technical difficulties. All right, up you come. All right, let's place a block. Punch you in there. Okay, there we go. Hopefully, he's in the right spot. Let's name him Madeline. Bam. And let's and now let's right click the trap door, and he should fall right into the composter. Right click, and he should be in the composter. Let's close it. And I don't think madeline is in there quite yet all right yeah madeline isn't fully inside the composter yet which isn't good okay let's try to push madeline oh all right good now we got madeline inside the composter they should be sitting in it they can't be sitting above it it might take you guys a couple of tries but as long as the zombie looks like this before the sun rises you guys should be golden you guys see what I did there because you know it's the sun's coming up so it's like golden like like my face no, i'll take that back i'm like a one out of a hundred and now let's break all the blocks around him and leave the trap door here so he doesn't jump out just like that and break all of the mess you've made see he's trying to jump out and he can't <laughs> you're stuck madeline loser <laughs> That was instant karma. All right, but now that Madeline's stuck inside the composter, iron golems are drawn towards zombies. And one last thing I missed, just build up here on top of the trapdoor that's holding Madison down. Not Madison, Madeline down. And take your stone button and just place it on the top like that. And you should be good. And now all you gotta do is build a platform on all four sides, which will act as the spawning platform for the iron golems right on top of these blocks. So let's start filling it up. And it doesn't really matter how big you make this platform. But I made it six blocks long on each side. And make sure you guys light up the platform so no other mobs will spawn. And the iron golem will be focused on that one zombie in the middle.
All right, this is what it should look like so far if you're building it in the air. It's pretty ugly. So I'm going to have to decorate it a little bit, add some leaves to it or something. But now let's make the collection area. So let's grab my chest, hoppers, signs, and bucket. All right, the second block from the platform, place some hoppers like this all the way through. And it should look something like this. You should use a total of nine signs. And I'm going to place the lava bucket right in the middle. And that should burn your iron golems once they fall. Now let's just get out of here. I'm going to put a double chest facing like this, a hopper facing facing this way and two more hoppers on the sides facing this hopper if that, if that made any sense now i'm gonna put water down right in the middle with some glass like that and it should work perfectly so when the iron golem falls in here it will get burned by the lava and the iron ingot will drop the water will push it into these hoppers and lead it into this chest and once you've completed the collection system all you have to do now is break the three by three platform in the middle right underneath these fence gates Ow. oh i'm sorry i'm so sorry psych i'm not sorry you're about to get what you deserve ah if I, could, if I could touch these blocks. He's got long arms. Holy cow. Break that. How is he touching me? And break. Ow. And break. And out. And I can't touch that block underneath him. There we go. And he should fall. Get in there. Get in there. Come on. How is he not in the hole? This guy's thighs are made out of iron. And he should be burning. He is. He just died. The iron should go into the hoppers. And there we go. Five pieces of iron. Let's go. And there you guys have it. That is my iron golem farm. And it works very well. If you guys watch my one block series, you guys know that I have this and I get so much iron. After one episode of that i have a whole double chest of iron ingots it's insane so now i'm officially the richest person in minecraft well not not literally but i am pretty rich now i hope the tutorial helped you guys build this thing but now i'm actually gonna afk this thing for 15 minutes and i'm gonna see how much iron ingots i get i'm gonna start the timer on my phone and this will be a quick snack break i'll be right back drop some guesses in the comments on how much iron i'll get in 15 minutes All right, that was actually 21 minutes to be exact, but let's see how much iron I got. I'm guessing around three stacks and oh, it's only two stacks, just under two stacks. But that is way better than what I have now in my chest because right now I only have 14 pieces of iron ingots and 44 nuggets. I mean, that counts as something. Okay, somebody tell me every single time I come home, I have a brand new villager that's here. I had a butcher earlier and now I have a fisherman. What the heck? They're just trading lives right now. And now that the iron farm is complete, it does give me a lot of iron. Yes, but it does look pretty ugly. And I can't accept that in this hardcore world so i'm gonna transform this entire thing and decorate it to look like a massive castle to match the theme of the village beside it let's get building all right i have all my materials and i still want to make this thing visible so i can see the glass tube but i want to make walls surrounding it so it looks like a big tall castle or something so obviously i'm gonna put some pillars like this on each corner let's build it all the way up to see how it will look all right i got all four corners built up with some stripped logs obviously i think it will look pretty good once i add some stone brick and some nice decoration and I think I got myself a nice little castle. And there we go. I think that's a pretty good design. Pretty simple. And let's repeat that for all four sides. This is going to be a lot of building. <laughs> Now that the pillars are complete, let's start working on the front design of the iron golem farm. Let's put a beam of logs right between these two pillars here. You can't build without stripped logs. And up here as well. Strip, 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 bacon, strip, bacon, strip, bacon, bacon. And I think filling up that little section with leaves would look pretty great. I mean, putting leaves anywhere would look great, as you can, uh, if you couldn't tell already. If you couldn't tell already. Yeah, I have a strange addiction for leaves. Add a little backdrop behind the leaves. Ow. Oh, for some reason, I thought I had elytra wings. <laughs> I clicked my space bar thinking I can fly. And I think with a little bit of decoration on the corners, it will look pretty good. And I have some plans to make some little wood stripped log arcs right here. I'm not the best. I'm not the best. I can't speak. I'm not the best at explaining things, but I'll just build it. Wow. Was that really that hard to say? And of course, we got to strip it down. Ah. Ah, what the? I haven't seen a phantom in a while. Go, 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 go. I'm going to bed. Yeah. 
What the? Yo. All right, I'm done dealing with you. I'm going to just go to bed. At least I have someone to sleep with. I'm going to fill up these little corners with some polished andesite. Okay, it, it doesn't look too bad. It just looks terrible. No, I'm just kidding. It's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. And maybe just a lantern there to prevent mobs from spawning. And right there as well. But yeah, there we go. We basically have the design all finished out. And now I just got to build the walls all the way through. Follow this little curvature. And that will be the iron golem room. I should probably make some walls on these sides as well. But I'm kind of kind of lazy. Let, let's see what I come up with. But first, let's finish up the inside of the iron golem farm. And there we go. I added some details all over the art. A bunch of stairs and slabs all the way throughout. And it makes it look a lot better and a lot smoother in my opinion. I really like it. And over here on the leaf wall, obviously I had to add some nice designs. And I think I'm going to pick some lucky winners to be on this wall. But so far it's coming together pretty good. Oh, is there the creeper taking home here? You cannot be here. This is my home. A place of uh, worship and a place of becoming filthy rich with iron. Give me your iron. How many stocks is this? I have six stacks of iron in gets already holy cow it's only been like an hour or two whoever's calling me poor in the comments right now take that back i'm becoming the richest man on minecraft now all right but now i need to finish off these sides because i can't just leave it empty and like looking like this oh well, i mean i kind of can but it does look pretty ugly so let me finish up all of these sides wow building this simple wall right here with the smooth stone took me like three stacks of it and it's kind of hard to get smooth stone i gotta smelt the stone ain't nobody got time for that is it copyrighted hopefully it isn't copyrighted and there we have it and some here is my brand new iron golem farm it produces me a lot of iron ingots per hour and i finished off two of the sides for the design but these two other sides let me tell you it's uh it's kind of not finished and it's pretty boring but hey who's ever gonna look at that side right but the two sides that are finished does look pretty good i think let me know if you guys like the design in the comments but on the next episode i'll complete this design as well make it auto sorter to sort out the roses and the iron ingots but anyways thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you guys haven't already have a good day and i'll see you guys later